What I have here is this. But more importantly, I've got this. And I thought I lost this about a year and a half ago. It disappeared, found it again. And uh, now I'm gonna make a video using this and Photoshop. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, it's a graphics tablet. You can use it to draw with. You could even use it instead of a mouse. You can use it with your finger. There's a switch on the back here. So you can turn that function on or off. And I usually have it off because I've got a mouse. In fact, I have two right here. This one's plugged into something else. Actually, I've got three. There's this one here too, a vertical mouse. You see, if you use a mouse a lot, that position right there, is it can kind of hurt and it's slightly unnatural for your hand to be in. Whereas this one right here is a lot more natural. That's just so weird. Anyway, right here we have some buttons and you can assign these to like the alt button or the control button, which is very handy because in Photoshop you sort of need them. And on the back what we have is, oh yeah. So this stuff inside here. So right here we have three more tips for the stylus, just in case you wear it out. I guess it is easy to wear out if you use this a lot. I've still got the original one in there. This is where your battery will go if you wanted to make this wireless. And that is where the adapter will go and that is where your dongle will go. That's just storage. And now what I'm gonna do is plug this in and see what I can do in Photoshop because I had a couple of comments asking me to do something in Photoshop and uh, I thought I might as well use this. So now I'll show you what's on my screen. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's see if this still works, right? So stop using the mouse and here we have the pen. Whoops, choose brush. Let's change the color to blue and... All right, it's working. Uh, I've tried this in the past with different graphics tablets and the pressure was a bit of an issue with some of them. But this one, pretty much uh, plug and play really. Didn't really have to do much. There is a control panel for it. And that is what that looks like. So you can do a few things with this. I've got these buttons set as control and alt. This one right here is the pressure sensitivity. Left it in the middle. And on here, we've got a few other options. So these are the screens. Right now it's on the bottom left screen. So I'll take that from there. And across here, go back. Now it's on that screen and I'll take it from here and top right screen. So you can choose which screens to assign the tablet to. I think you can choose the entire screen. Yeah, full. But really you just want it on the screen that the program's on. Now I didn't really have anything planned for this, but what I'll do is I'll go to Google Images and I'll play around with some random pictures. All right, so here we have this picture. Do you notice anything strange about it? There's this right here that I didn't completely get rid of. So what we have here is these two taking a picture and this guy is photo bombing. All right, so here we have the picture in Photoshop. Now, how would I get rid of this guy from this picture? Well, this is how I do it. Clone stamp tool, which is not that, it's this. And then basically start cloning this over to there. Something like that.
All right, so that is basically how I'd sort that out. So as you can see, it's fairly easy to do really. Once I zoom back out, you can't even tell. I mean, even if I left this in there, I mean, you can't exactly tell what it is. All right, so this right here is the side of a car. Nothing wrong with it, looks completely fine. But what happens if you don't know how to park? Usually nothing, but sometimes this. Let's say somebody scratched the crap out of your car, what are you gonna do? You're probably gonna have to call the police. Over here when you do that, they give you a crime reference number and then hopefully through that, you can go through your insurance and get it sorted out. But with Photoshop, things are a little easier. Now in the past, what you would have to use was the clone stamp tool, which is this, which is what I've already been using. And then what you do is clone the top part of it over the bottom part and then you'd eventually get rid of it. Something like this, and then if somebody was to look at this, they wouldn't be able to tell. But it doesn't always work out because, I don't know if you notice this bit here, that has cloned part of this like shadow, this darker reflection a little lower down. And in some cases that might not fit or look right. But now what you can also use is this, the Spot Healing Brush Tool. And with this, it's even easier. So take it to this section right there and make it a little smaller, drag across that and it's gone. Let's see how it works on this P. So I'm gonna cover it. Not too bad. It's actually doing better than I thought it would. All right, well that was pretty easy. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a white car part next to this darker colored car. And the reflection of it is a little weird looking in the areas where the key marks were. So for example, this right there, that. And then there's a few bits over here. So ideally you'd probably want to sort that out too. And this is basically the way I do it. Maybe use the clone tool and clone over parts of this. Let's just tidy up the wheel arch. All right, well that's sorted out now. And then what you'd wanna do is sort this out, but I'm gonna leave that because you get the idea. And this right here is the next picture. This guy has an eagle cat. And I'll show you how I did this. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is take this eagle's picture and pop it into here like that. I'm gonna use this and select around it. Should be good enough, I think. We can tidy it up afterwards. And then layer via copy. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a lot sharper than the cat's faces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur this a little bit. Rotate a little bit. Now what I could do is sort of erase the feathers and use mostly cat fur or blend the feathers into the fur of the cat. All right, so I'm gonna use the eraser and I'll just lower this a little bit. I'm just going to start removing some of this. Clone stamp tool and I'll just bring that across. And now I'm just filling this in, which is in the background. So these bits right here is where the graphics tablet really comes in handy. You sort of need to use pressure when it comes to using a paintbrush. Otherwise the only thing you can do is keep changing this and that can get a little annoying. That is a big old head on that cat. I was thinking about making it smaller but I think I might leave it. Let's make its head a little smaller. All right, so now I need to do something with the color balance because the head of the eagle is slightly different to the color of the cat. Now the front right side of the cat has a bit of sunlight on it and that 
is bluish. So what I need to do is do the same to this. And there we are, we've got a nice blend going on. Still got a few whiskers coming through, so I'm gonna get rid of those. It should be easy. Blur the edges a little bit. And now this guy has a pet eagle cat. Okay, so here we have two cars. This one and this one. They're both the same car. Which one would you choose? So if you're gonna be posting pictures of your first car on social media, you might wanna do this to it. Change it a little bit. That way, when people see it, people that you don't see in real life, they're not gonna cringe as much. Anyway, these are the changes I made to that and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Simple, straightforward changes and you'll be able to do it fairly easily. Hopefully. Let's say you've gone and bought your first car, maybe your second car. You've taken a picture of it to put onto Facebook or wherever you put your pictures, Instagram, and you've realized it doesn't look as good as you'd like it to look. What are you gonna do? You could have maybe not bought the car in the first place. You could go to some sort of a car shop that sells accessories, aftermarket wheels and stuff. Or you could just do what some people do when it comes to taking pictures of themselves, Photoshop. Now bear in mind, if you do that, you're gonna have to do it for every single picture you take of the car, pretty much, unless you're inside the car. All right, so here we are, congratulations, this is your new car. Now the first thing I would do to make my car look a little nicer is fit some lowering springs. And believe it or not, that actually makes quite a bit of difference to the way it looks. Now the way to do it in Photoshop is as follows. Well, there's more than one way to do it, but this is the way I'm gonna do it. You could use this polygon lasso tool so I'm gonna start off from over here and then I'll go across like this. Well then what I'll do is I'll leave the grass, zoom back out and connect it. Layer via copy. I'm gonna move that entire selection up. Let's put it about there. And then what we do is tidy this up a little bit. So what you wanna do is add a bit of feather to this so I'll do not point two, and then we'll go along these arches as well as the rest of the body line of the car. What I'll do is I'll leave this bit for now and I'll just show you this on the back and the side and then zoom out, go over to this layer there, increase it, make it 100 and you see this, what I'll do is press Control and X, boom. Now we have a lowered car, and I'm just gonna do the same to the front. Zoom back out, and we'll see how this looks. Control and X, boom, nice. Just need to sort this front end out now. All right, so we've lowered the car, made it look a little more sporty. Now what we're we gonna do, tint the windows, debadge it, make the wheels a bit bigger, change the wheels. All right, well, one thing I'm gonna do because I'm not really a fan of it is get rid of the chrome. So I'm just gonna select around it like this. So then what I'll do is select a dark color and then fill it in. Right, so now what I'll do is get rid of this on the front and that on the side. And there is that gone. And so is that. Now all you have to do is just crop it a little bit and there we are.